Hey guys, it's Leo, and I'm out in uh, out on the trail again. Uh, we are in Anstead, West Virginia, uh, to bring you a really cool story. Now, the spot that we're at right now, well, I guess I just may as well get right to it and just show you, right? Check this out. You guys, this is a special one. We made a special stop here, made a special trip to come up here and get this gravesite and show this to you guys. Julia Beckwith Neil Jackson Woodson from 19, uh, 1798 to 1831 was the mother of Confederate General Thomas Jonathan Stonewall Jackson. You heard that right. This is Stonewall Jackson's mommy. Uh, Julia sadly had a short and tragic life and was very was reported to be very intelligent and a devout Christian But life in the early 1800s in what is now West Virginia Was not an easy life and many families face tragedy every day Julia's grave in Westlake Cemetery overlooking the town of Anstead in 1817 Julia married attorney Jonathan Jackson 1790 to 1826 of Randolph County. They were living in Clarksburg when their third child was born on January 21st, 1824. Thomas Jonathan Jackson. When Thomas was only two years old, both his father and sister Elizabeth, age six, died of typhoid fever. Julia gave birth to her fourth child, Laura Ann, the next day. Widowed at the age of 28, Julia was left to raise her three young children for the next four years. In 1830, Julia married Blake Baker Woodson, also an attorney, and the appointed clerk of Fayette County. Woodson was not fond of his stepchildren, and Julia's children were sent to live with their relatives. Thomas and his sister Laura were sent to live with Jackson relatives at Jackson's Mill, and her son Warren lived with the Neal relatives, and died of tuberculosis in 1841 at the age of 20. The exact date of Julia's death in 1831 isn't exactly known. Her gravestone says September, but she gave birth to another son, William Wirt Woodson, on October 7th here in Anstead. Other sources state that she died of complications following childbirth on December 4th, 1831, at the age of 33. It was reported her grave in Westlake Cemetery initially had a wooden marker, but this disappeared before 1855. The story of Stonewall Jackson's mother might have ended here with her death, which is the story behind this marker. Thomas Stonewall Jackson apparently had very fond memories of his mother despite her death at a young age. During the U.S. Civil War, Jackson must have spoken of his mother often to others whom he served with during the Civil War. One of these individuals, Captain Thomas R. Ransom of Staunton, West, Staunton, Virginia, must have remembered Jackson's stories of his mother and particularly where she was buried. A newer, more readable head marker was placed below the old marker after the U.S. Civil War. Stonewall Jackson was one of the most beloved of the Confederate War heroes. Captain Thomas R. Ranson, who admired Jackson and served with him, remembered the tragic life of Jackson's mother. In the 1800s, Ranson went to Anstead, West Virginia, and had a marble marker placed over the unmarked grave of Julia Neal Jackson in Westlake Commu uh, Community Cemetery to make sure the site of her grave was not lost forever. Now, individuals in the community of Anstead continue to make sure the community is kept and maintained. Westlake Cemetery is located on the top of a hill in the town of Anstead, leading up a, a street across from this marker to the north, about three quarters of the way up the hill on the west side. But just look at this. Now, I wanted to show y'all. Look at this. You can see the original marker right here. And then the replacement later. 
and the town of Anstead has put up the sign here to mark her grave. Now how cool is that? Stonewall Jackson's mother right there. Amazing, isn't it?